going to have a forms button here at the top. So whether you have gotten to that list from SharePoint or from Microsoft List app, you'll still see the forms button. When you click on forms, you're creating a new form. So in this example, it's a work progress tracker. So when you create a new form, you can create several of them. You can give it a title and description. It doesn't even have to match the title and description of the form itself in SharePoint. So what you have here is you have a lot of different fields that you can simply uncheck if you would not like them to show on the form. You can rearrange them here and uncheck boxes next to the ones that you don't want to show. On the form itself, you can see all your fields here and you can also drag them up and down on the form surface as well. I can even add new fields and you can also edit existing fields. Another thing you can do here is to create a pick a different color theme. Now, once you're ready and you want to share this form and have people start filling it out, you go to send form here and simply copy the link.